name is Matt Bergoon. Uh, thanks for coming out to Chuku Charlie's uh, Comedy Night. You guys are amazing. I know it is beautiful out there, but fuck that. It's only it's only gonna be here for like another 20 days. So yeah, <laughs> wasted. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, we have some sponsors I need to get to right away. We have Avis Rent a Car, Inlet Towers Suites. I believe Budweiser because they just sponsor everything. Apparently those horses are quite a cash cow. That's a uh, and uh, Goldie's Coffee for, I haven't figured that one out yet. I, I'm still working on that one. It's like nobody goes to a bar and then wants coffee. I don't know, but either way, the, the day after. All right, I figured it out, all right. Um, we have some rules tonight. Um, no talking, you know, to keep the table chatter to a minimum. Uh, put your cell phone on silent. We don't, we don't need to hear you. We don't need to hear the thong song play. It's like, oh, this is my favorite song. I want to listen to it. No, we don't need to hear that. We don't need any pictures taken either. Nobody gives a shit where you're at right now on Facebook. Nobody. I haven't. I haven't looked at anyone's photo album since 2012. That's uh. That's just true. Like, I went to a birthday party, and I, the next day I looked on Facebook, and a girl at the party had taken 300 pictures, and. Neil Armstrong went to the moon, and he took 122. So there's no way that your birthday party is more epic than breaking the pull of Earth's gravity on a rocket, traveling like two million miles and landing on another planet. There's no way, all right? Nobody wants to see that, that plate of spaghetti that bad, all right? Okay, great way to start a show. All right, here we go. I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, my name's Matt Bergoon, and holy shit, the curse came true. Look at me. This is not great. This is what happens when you hit a gypsy with your car. This is this is it right here. Uh, I, I do not feel great about it, but oh well, I'll get into it. I've had I've had a shitty couple of weeks. I uh, I got my car broken into recently, and was I'm it's infuriating because they broke my window. $150 worth of damage. But they only stole like twenty dollars worth of shit. That's uh, he could have taken the window and made off like a bandit. All right. <laughs> as soon as he figures out a way to take that window, he is there's like what's what's his plan here? Like this is he gonna like pawn my book of CDs I've had since high school? Is that what he's gonna do? How much money does a Matchbox 20 CD fetch nowadays? Is, uh, <laughs> so I don't know. You know, and he also stole like a pair of gym shorts, which. I mean, I'm glad he took those because they're just they're, every time I saw those things, like, yeah, I'm not working out. I don't even know why I have those things. That's, that's embarrassing. But, but yeah, so like the worst part was I called the cops because apparently that's something you're supposed to do when a crime happens. And I called them and say, hey, like my car is broken into. Can someone roll past or do something about this? And the guy in the line, like, he was annoyed that I called him. It was like. Uh, can you just, you know, just bring it by the by the station? Can you do that? Is, is that where we're at with our crime scenes now? Like, if I like discover a dead body, you're just gonna like grab it by the leg and just drag it five blocks to the precinct? Is that where I'm at now? Is like, where'd you find this body? Oh, I don't know. Just follow the trail. It'll lead you right back. It's, it was a long walk, I'll tell you that. But um, and like the thing of it is, like, I'm not expecting them, the cops, to solve the mystery of my missing gym shorts. You know. I'm not expecting the commissioner to go on TV and go like, we will not rest until this man's Lincoln Park CD is returned safely to his home. No, I don't want that. I just want someone to stand next to me and be angry with me. That's all I want. I just want a uniform and someone going, yeah, I feel you. That's all That's all I want in this life. And they couldn't even do it. doesn't need to be a cop. Somebody from Burger King can roll past. Like, like oh, yeah, that sucks, bro. That really sucks. That's, that's all. Apparently, the cop's motto is protect and serve at our leisure. That's it. That's all they do. It's fucking assholes. I don't know. It's just... But, um... It sucks. I, um... Uh, I'm drinking, uh... Skillac Scottish Ale. I don't know if any, oh, you like Skillac? It's a Scottish beer. You know that because you feel like fighting your family at a water park. That's uh, that's that's that taste. It's like, mm, yeah, emotions. That's what it is. I uh, fuck. I uh, I I did some. I I I met someone amazing recently, a racist, like an out of the closet racist, <laughs> which. You don't meet a lot of those. Like, I haven't met a lot of those. And, I don't know, I'm white, and I've had this, I've always been scared that I might be a little bit racist, just a little bit. Like, we, I think we've all done the thing where a person of color will roll past your car, 
and you'll just go, lock. <laughs> and then immediately, I'll just feel, oh shit, that was bad. That was so shitty. Why did I do that? Uh, but I counterbalance that by driving up to a white person and just locking my car right right next to them, too. Because, <laughs> you know, it, I have to level this out. I have to level out my hatred, apparently. That's a, it's a, as long as I hate everyone, I think. I think that's I think that's how racism works. It's okay if you hate everyone. But, um, I don't know, like, I was talking to this guy, and just out of nowhere, he just said, yeah, I don't like black people. And we were talking about the weather, so I don't even, like, he had had that on his chest. He'd been wanting to get that out. That was the thing. And, like, it's just, like, instantly, I was like, like, how dare you? Like, how can you just wipe off an entire race of people? Just, you bigoted piece of shit. They've contributed, like, so much to society from, like, Martin Luther King to George Washington Carver to, I guess, Little Wayne. I guess we'll include him somehow. And But what came out of my mouth was, yeah. So, I think he got that message. So, I don't know. Like, it really sucks because I have a daydream of, like, standing up to a racist. That's... I, I always like watch Schindler's List, and I daydream about being Mr. List there, you know. Like I would, I, I daydream of standing up to those fucking Nazis. But in reality, I have blonde hair and blue eyes. I would have been on their goddamn posters, and I would have been living the life. I just, I really miss. I was born about 15 years too late. Never. Right. <laughs> now I'm just uh, so. Oh well. But yeah, good start. Good start. I don't know. Speaking of Nazis, um. I feel like I could kill one and get away with it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you ever play video games, all of like the bad guys, they're, they have masks covered up, like their faces, so you're not really killing a human being. All, every video game villain has a mask besides Nazis. Because killing a Nazi is really fun. You don't understand. Like, they're like to the point where they almost give them like backstories after you kill a Nazi, like a little pop-up window will come up. This guy's name was Franz, he had a family. Good job. That's a good fucking job. That's, but I don't know, I thought about like, I think I need to get a better job, you know, to attract women because this isn't doing it right now. And so I thought I could become a Nazi hunter and that, that's a little bit of danger and it'd be wonderful. But it turns out women don't like the idea of me going into nursing homes and smothering old men in their sleep. So I'm gonna have to find a new job. I'm gonna have to find a new job. But um, yeah, oh well. Um, anyone here have an old dog? Okay, so this one's for me, everyone. Um, I have this shitty, shitty, shitty old dog. And I know that like, he's a really nice dog, but he's gotten so old that like every day that he's alive, he's destroying his legacy. That he's like, if Kurt Cobain never ate a shotgun, and now he's on Dancing with the Stars. That's where he's at right now. He's like, his ass handed to him the cha-cha by Nancy Grace. That's my dog. That's, and here's the thing, I didn't realize he was old until I'd take him for walks, and people would get upset with me for, like, him being alive, just being around. He's like, how can you have this old dog? He's, you should have him put down. And I'm like, I'm getting the paper. It's not a big deal. You know, it's not the baton death march. But here's the thing, nobody ever gets upset at me when I take my grandma for a walk. That's, that's something that does not happen. Every time I'm outside with my grandma in public, She'll be like, everyone will come up to her and go, Oh my god, you are adorable! I hope you live forever. It's like, all right, turn it down. Are you sure? She fought on the side of segregation, okay? So, my dog doesn't hate anyone. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't throw stones because my grandma has thrown plenty at school buses full of black children. But, uh, yeah, that's a race heavy tonight. I just realized that. I just realized that. Oh well. Mm. Oh well, but um, I'm gonna leave you with this before we get the actual show started. Funny people on stage, but um, I was watching porn. Like, all right, let's just get. I, I know everyone was thinking that, but I'm just saying it out loud, just uh, just relieve the tension. As I watch porn, and um, I wasn't like I wasn't really watching porn. I just uploaded a video of my stand-up onto Pornhub just to see like what people think, you know. <laughs> And right now it's rating at 100%. So I am killing it right now. Sadness is a fetish, people. That's a that's a real thing. That's a real thing. But um, I saw this. I found this video on Pornhub. It's a cuckolding video. That's when um, usually like a, 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 a husband and wife they'll bring, they'll bring a gentleman, usually a black gentleman, into their house 
and then he'll fuck the wife, and the guy will just go, yeah, I wish you weren't doing that, but he's totally good enough. And um, it was really amazing because they tried to set the stage, like it was obvious they tried to like make this guy feel at home, because they were playing Jay-Z, and it's like, they were clearly a Sarah McLaughlin Starbucks collection family at best, you know? They had a couch from L.L. Bean, you know? It was, this is, it, it's like, oh man, we have a guy coming, should we get something? I don't know, what is he like? But, um, but the thing that really caught my eye was, this was like an amateur porn thing, so they had a little timestamp in the bottom right of the, of the screen, and the date was um, September 15th, uh, 2001. So, where were you when the world stopped turning? Um, apparently negotiating for a stranger to come over and fuck my wife. That's, uh, apparently... And I looked it up. That was a Tuesday. That was... Who has a sex party on a Tuesday? That's... You know, you don't have a sex party and then go to work knowing you have a mess to clean up at home. You wait till Friday to do that shit. But they, they could not wait, apparently. But I love it because there must have been, when the guy showed up, there must have been like a, at least like a five minute awkward conversation about current events at that moment in time. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, welcome to our house. Yeah, you've been watching the news? That's incredible. Four planes, just people, wow, did you know anyone? No, oh, you're so, you're so blessed, you're so blessed. Anyways, um, here's my wife's pussy. Uh, just go ahead and fuck that, because if you don't, the terrorists will win, okay? The terrorists will fucking win. Yeah, that's, and that's how, that's how we won. The war on terror we won. That's how we do it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Freedom rings, freedom rings. All right, we have an amazing show.